and g'day follow B blutter extra fee people and non blutter extra fee people welcome to the next living with blutter extra fee and this uh, video is going to be titled be strong and be brave what do we mean by this well we have gone through so much that we have to believe in ourselves we have to be positive in ourselves and we have to be strong it's a very hard and long journey for us anybody with blood or extra fee knows that it's a can be a very long and a very struggling journey and I don't want to try and be a negative on all of this but some people including me have struggles with blood or extra fee and it goes from not just a physical problem like body image problems which I have you know body image is one of the biggest things that I struggle with and I don't know how I can help someone else with that subject but we as a community with blood or extra fee we need to try and be strong and be brave we need to put on our body armor and fight the good fight that we already are fighting we need to put on everything that we can think of to protect our lives it's a big struggle and trying to um trying to be what we need to do is just try and just stay strong conquer what we can conquer and it's okay to take steps backwards it's okay to not be okay you know life was not meant to be easy life was meant to be hard we were given blood or extra fee as a gift it's a gift that when we were born with we why we were born with it is because we are strong people we can overcome anything and trying to overcome a lot of hurdles is difficult we may skip a few hurdles we may have to go back on a few hurdles but when we can focus on what needs to be done we try and look after our health but when mental health gets in the way everything can fall to the wayside and it's not easy to try and get back onto the road of recovery we always put things down we always go oh I don't want to do this today I don't want to do that today oh why do I have to follow these instructions why we have to follow those instructions is we need to just do what the instructions say it's what makes us be better and if a doctor says you've got to do something, please try and follow those instructions. They're there to try and help you to make your life a lot easier. They're not going to make it a perfect life, but the doctors who are looking after you are trying to help to make it easier, not harder on things. Um, we we struggle a lot and take it from me it's not easy some people have it easy which is brilliant but there are people that are struggling day by day with the mental aspects of bladder atrophy and 
we need to try and get hospitals, more hospitals involved to try and help people with urological defects like bladder extrophy. To, <coughs> excuse me, to, um, to try and give us more uh, mental support. It's not easy to bring up that subject to your doctor, I know. <coughs> I was in that boat, but I am so grateful to have the most caring urologist. He is brilliant. And I hope you guys have a good urologist, or if you need a urologist, find one. Go to a look on the internet and find someone. If you haven't seen one in years, please get yourself checked up. Make sure that everything's in working order. If you catheterize, make sure that you are doing the right procedures in catheterization. It is so important that we keep on top of things because urinary tract infections are not fun. And when you get too many of them, <coughs> it starts to get a concern. And that's where I am in my little journey at the moment. It's concerning for the urologist because if you start getting infections in your kidneys, that's not a good thing. We need to try and control everything that is part of that. I just want to also say, parents, please help your children and children help your parents. We need to try and help all the children and all the parents that need the help. Also, all the adults with bladder extrophy out there, we need to help each other. And if you don't, can't, or don't want to reach out, but you need help, talk to your GP, talk to your urologist, like I've said before in my other vlogs on this. The word needs to be spread, and if you need mental help, ask for it. The people on the groups that are asking for help, and people are responding, this is brilliant content, and you guys just keep up all the hard work. It's not... It's a safe place to share all your worries and want worries, and... People do care, and I found that the other day. I've been struggling so, so, so badly with my mental health regarding my bladder extrophy. I feel like that I've been letting my medical team down, but someone told me I'm not because I am trying my hardest every single day. It's not very easy at all. And I feel the pain of other people who have to go through this with butter extrophy. It's a challenge sometimes. And we try and try and push it down now, push it down inside ourselves. We can't do that. I've bottled up all my emotions way too much and it's not a good thing. We, we, we as bladder extrophy people, we need to learn to let open up out about our feelings to someone and who cares. To help. A lot of people care, How you and with this community, we need to try and care more. That's why we have the groups that we do have, and the admins in these groups are doing a fantastic job. All the moder moderators are doing a fantastic job and all the people that are helping people, people who are crying out, people who are struggling, parents who are struggling, and people that are helping other people, you guys are doing a fantastic job.
keep up the hard, hard work and we will get through this all together. It's not an easy task and we, we need to focus on all the positives in this world and make sure that everyone is heard, everyone that isn't heard is heard, people that are calling are answered. The answers, we may not have all the answers, but we can answer as the best to our abilities, and then if you need, if you can't give answers, there's always your local GP, your urologist. There are, they are so grateful to help out. We need to just keep focusing on all the positives in the world with this condition. It's, it's. I know I've been negative in all my posts about this, but it's hard not to say anything about it. It always comes up, and I know it's going to deter a lot of families away from watching these videos. I'm trying to make them fam as family positive as possible. I don't want to try and scare parents or children. I want to try and help parents, children, and other adults or other people with blower atrophy. I don't want to push people away. I want to try and educate as much of the people as I can. I don't want to be a nuisance. I don't want to be a pain. I'm trying to be positive, but with the ex expert uh, of all the problems in my life it's hard to sometimes keep the positive vibes and what to say the negatives come out and bladder extrophy is not all about negativity bladder extrophy well, most of the majority of it is positive outcomes positive everything and you know we need to just keep on that right track and be strong and be brave that's all we can try and do be strong be brave be strong and be brave all right we need to hoist up the flag of positivity we need to hoist up everything that we can onto that flag to say hey we are a community we are here and we're here to help you know we can continue to challenge ourselves and keep on conquering what needs to be conquered. We all need to focus on fighting the good fight, continue on that battle and continue on conquering everything. We have very important, we have battle scars to show that we were in battle and we have, we have survived. The scars mean we have survived, we are survivors. But I know sometimes the scars can come back as a negative thing saying, what happened to me? Why am I with these scars? But just remember, they are a part of you and we all may struggle with all of that. But just remember, everyone's that has bladder extra feet or the parents that are looking after kids with bladder extra feet we've gone through something that that no one else should really go through we've been in hospital and hate hospitals some of 
with I'm included and just seeing hospital or certain smell, smells trigger me, trigger me off a bit and I'm just over it and you guys who are over it I understand I reach out and I'm here to help let's just continue this journey forward let's just continue conquering the good fight and like I said let's be brave be strong all right all the little warriors out there who are worried who are worried the uncle everyone let's just focus on having a good fight I know I'm repeating that but I mean it alright I don't want to be mad I don't want to be cruel it's just something that I want to try and give the positive vibes to everyone on this we need to focus on all that is going on and try and block out what's happening in the world and just focus on the problems ahead in our world of bladder atrophy. We need to help people as the best as we can. Knowledge is power, people. And the more knowledge we can produce out into the world is more powerful to the world. And we can explain to people who don't know what we have, what we have, in a more easier light. No more dark shadows of telling people. And we need to reach out to more people we need to reach out to non bladder atrophy people to spread the word out there that this is a rare birth defect, but it's not going to stop any of us from conquering what we need to conquer. Be brave, be strong, alright? We will continue to focus on the world around and let's just hope that someday we can meet everybody be a big family and talk about all our emotions how we feel how we don't feel what we want to do what we don't want to do and just focus on the end goal and that end goal is to be brave and to be strong. Alright? Be brave and be strong, people. We need to repeat that. We need to take that brave enough to out to the world. Forward. We are strong. I want to try and we are brave. break the so barriers I down. Just... I want to try and help as many people as I can. It's not going to be an easy task. And I'm trying my best to do what is the best thing. And that is to be brave and to be strong myself. The last couple of years I haven't been that. And I am trying to focus on my journey. And my journey is to be behind this camera. And is to help as many people as I can. Bladder extrophy needs some sort of um how to say it support network and the that's where the Association of Bladder Extrophy is a brilliant organization and they help a lot. And I mean they help a lot. That organisation has helped a lot of people in third world countries, in countries that don't have the 
adequate uh, um, medical treatment and sending teams of urologists off to train other urologists in other countries is brilliant because they need the expertise but the expertise can't stay in that country so that's why they send off and they keep asking for money because it's not a cheap task it is very very expensive and medical treatment medical supplies and all that are expensive and with with the cost of living increasing year by year it's just puts a strain on everything and we just need to continue the support we can we need to support the community in a lot of ways and I want to try and do my part in just making these videos I may not be approved from people putting my face out there with this condition but I just want to try and start somewhere and just to let the world know about our little problem that we have and I just hope, I just hope that I can spread the word as much as I can and I know I am going to be back, backlashed by a lot of people but do I care? Yes and no because this is me, this is who I am and I find it hard to be behind a keyboard sometimes because of my spelling being so bad. This is why I thought I'd go behind a camera and start filming all of these because I want to try and do my part and try and help as many people as possible and um, I just hope that I do spread the word out there as much as I can and um, I just hope that bladder extrophy will be more easy uh, easier to access uh, support for and um, let me just say you guys are all great you uh, guys are brave be strong and be believe all right you guys are the best people and some people I've met are great people. Let's just say that we need more people to focus on what else needs to be done. You guys have a wonderful day or evening. I'm off now. I'm going to think and reflect and think about my next video I want to make for this series. You guys have a wonderful day and see you guys around. Bye guys.